The torsos are designed to sense the light and move towards it. So, you can see it heading towards the light bulb right now. The tortoise uses a photoelectric cell to detect the light. That's the sensor you can see on top of it moving back and forth. When it registers the light, it stops the steering and moves towards it. Because there are different light sources in the room, the tortoise regularly stops to check its position before adjusting its direction to move closer to the brightest light. So that's negative feedback. Just like when I was balancing on the beam and adjusting myself, the robot is correcting itself to achieve its objective. Now, if we put obstacles in its way, things get really interesting. The shell of the robot now acts as a bump sensor. So it's making decisions based on two sensors. One is sensing the light, and the other is detecting the obstacles. Though it may look simple, this is actually complex behavior. The tortoise has a different solution every time the experiment is run, and each path it takes involves a multitude of different corrections and movements. Every reaction they make is a result of sensing the environment around them. Then they react and create a new path. Amazing. For the first time, a machine could demonstrate a complex decision-making process, and this discovery paved the way for a revolution in robotics. Autonomous machines have come to replace humans in many realms, from the domestic to outer space, and they've revolutionized the industrial world.